Right, so I'm going to give you another problem to do. So, next example. So, the graph below shows the derivative functions g prime of x. So, this is the graph. The first question is what are the critical numbers of g of x? Not g prime of x. I give you a derivative function. I want to know what are the critical numbers uh, of g of x. Right, so go back to the note right here. For this example, I give you a function. And I say find the critical number of the functions. So what, what should we do here? We find the derivative, set the derivative equal to zero and solve for x. You don't have to take the derivative in this case, in this example, because a derivative graph is already given to you. You have g prime of x equal to zero at what value? Now you ask yourself that's questions, right? So g prime of x is equal to zero at x equal to zero right here, x equal to 1, x equal to 3, and x equal to 4. So that means you have four critical numbers. You don't have to actually solve anything, right? You just need to look at the graph and deduce that information from, from the graph. Um, so the critical numbers are x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 3, and x equal to 4. So part B indicates the intervals on which the function, the original function, the function g, is increasing. How could you be able to find the interval on which the function, the original function, is increasing? So the function is increasing when the derivative is positive. Right, so look at the graph. One more time, I'm going to look at the graph here. This part of the curve is positive, right? g prime is positive. This part of the curve, g prime is positive as well. As well. So therefore, the function is going to be increasing in that interval. Right, so you can say that since g prime of x is positive on the interval from 0 to 1 and from 3 to 4, we get g of x is increasing on this interval as well. So part C of course indicates the intervals on which the functions, the function g is decreasing. So the function is decreasing when you have g prime of x less than zero or negative. Right? Say that since g prime of x is negative, on what interval? So now let me go back to the graph. There are three intervals, right? Um, so this part, of the curve from negative infinity to zero, that part of the derivative is less than zero. This part of the derivative is also less than zero, and this guy as well. So um, since um, g prime of x is negative on three interval from negative infinity to zero, from one to three, and from four to positive infinity, g of x is decreasing on this interval as well. Point D, where are the local maximum in local minimum of g of x? I didn't ask, I didn't ask for the value. Right. I didn't ask for the local max value or local min value. I didn't ask that. I want to know where, what is the x value, what is the location of x, such that you can find the local max and local minimum. Um, so the local maximum is where you have a prime change from positive to negative. Right. So right here, uh, at x equal to 1, a prime change from positive to negative. So that's the local maximum, x equal to, x equal to 1. So the local maximum occur at x equal to 1. And at x equal to 4, it's the same thing. Derivative change from positive to negative. Right. So, local max occurs at x equal to 1 and x equal to 4. With that same idea, the local minimum occurs at x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. Right. It's occurred at x equal to 0. Why is that the case? At x equal to 0, change from negative to positive. Right here, 3 change from negative to positive. Now we're going to move on to the next example. Uh, the graph below shows the derivative at prime 
of x of the function f. All right, so this is f prime of x. Very similar to the previous problem, the first question is what are the critical numbers of f? Right. Once again, the critical numbers are oh, the location square f prime of x is equal to zero. So one more time, so sign note here, critical numbers are values at which f prime of x equal to zero. All right. So this is f prime of x. What is uh, the x value such that f prime of x is equal to zero? Um, so you have uh, this guy, x equal to negative three, x equal to negative one, and x equal to two. So three places, right? So you have three number here. So the critical numbers are uh, x equal to negative three, x equal to negative one, and x equal to two. B, can you indicate the interval on which the function f is increasing. f prime of x is greater than zero implies that f is increasing. f prime of x is less than zero implies that f is decreasing. Right. And if f prime of x equal to zero, right, you have critical numbers. Remember, this is the derivative graph. So what part of the curve so that you have um, such that the derivative is positive. Positive means above the x-axis. So f prime of x is positive on the interval from negative three to negative one, and from two to positive infinity. This implies that f of x is increasing on this interval. Rc indicates the interval on which the functions f of x is decreasing. We'd like to know where are the local max or local minimum or n local minimum. Of f. Where are the local max and local min? So go back to the notes one more time. Um, think about how the first derivative change sign. You know, change from positive to negative and from negative to positive. What could you get? So the local maximum occurs at x equal to negative 1, and the local minimum occurs at x equal to negative 3 and x equal to 2. Example. So the graph below shows the original functions f of x. So this is the functions f of x, not the derivative functions, f of x functions. What are the critical numbers of f of x? So for the derivative graph, is somewhat easy because you just say, okay, anytime you see f prime equal to zero, that's where um, you can find critical numbers. Here you don't have f prime, but you have um, f of x only. You go back to the note, you will see that if f prime is equal to zero, the original function has the horizontal tangent line or flat spot. Right. So by looking at this particular graph, you can see that at x equal to x equal to 0, x equal to 2, and x equal to 4, we have horizontal tangent line, or f prime of x equal to 0. Right? So therefore, say that the critical numbers are x equal to 0, x equal to 2, and x equal to 4. Next. So can you indicate the intervals on which f of x is increasing? So f of x is increasing. on the interval from 0 to 2 and from 4 to positive infinity. You have to be able to distinguish between the two graphs, right? Previous two problems, we have the derivative graph, so we need to take care of the derivative sign, positive, negative. For this, we have the original graph. You can just look at the graph and look at um, the curve where it's increasing or decreasing. So f of x is increasing on the interval from 0 to 2 and from 4 to positive infinity. So C indicates the interval on which f of x is decreasing. So go back to the graph here, f of x is decreasing in this interval. 
from negative infinity to zero and from two to four. So f of x is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to zero and from two to four. All right, so for this graph, uh, it's very easy to spot that at x equal to zero, um, you have a local minimum. And even better, you can actually identify the, the value of the local minimum, right? You also have another local minimum here at x equal to four. And you have um, at this point, x equal to two, the function has a local maximum. So I could say that is very much for the uh, first derivative test.